Hi, beautiful soul. Welcome back to my channel. You are watching my Ya Luna Corazon crochet and travel channel. And today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cable stitch for a cover of hot water bottle. This is great as present or just for yourself. In this project, we're going to use this wool ears and this wool ears yarn is the medium four width, medium width four, let's say that. I really like this yarn because it's not too thick and it's not too thin. I love this cable stitch so much because it just looks super neat and it's not that difficult to make. We're going to make two panels of this um, like what you are seeing here, I already made one panel. I'm going to show you to make another one and how to connect both panels together. And you will also need a crochet hook. In this project, we use six millimeter crochet hook and you need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle. And that's it. Not much at all. Let's get started. I actually thought that this panel is become a little small at first when I finished both panels before I put the bottle inside but after I used last night I feel like it's just a perfect length I measure at first is uh, 19 centimeter or 7.5 inches this bottle and it's gonna be the same size but just that the piece the crochet piece is expand a little bit more at the end like first i get a little bit panic like oh i should make a little bit bigger but in the end it just fit perfectly so i'm going to show you exactly how i did with this number of calculation and it's just gonna fit if your bottle is the same size as my bottle here so this is the first panel that i finished it already i'm going to show you the second one how we start with the second one which means that you're going to make two panels just that i already make one so we first start with slip knot and after you got your slip knot you're going to chain 22 plus 2 Now you're going to add half double crochet in third chain from hook and you're going to add half double crochet in each of the chain until the end of the row. And at the end of the row, you're going to have 22 half double crochet. This is the first row. And yeah, the second row, you will do the same. You're going to chain two and repeat by add one half double crochet, the first one in the third chain from hook and one half double crochet in each half double crochet from previous row across until the end. And now you got your second row done, the third row, chain two, turn our work. You're going to add one half double crochet in third chain from hook and another half double crochet and another half double crochet into the next one. So total of three half double crochet in three um, half double crochet from previous row and now we're going to do some fun <laughs> stitch on here you're going to count in the fourth stitch you're going to add a triple crochet front post triple crochet that is a front post triple crochet 
you take yarn two times, and then you take the yarn again, pull through two, take the yarn again, pull through two, take the yarn again, and pull through two. That one front post tip triple crochet done. Now do it again. The next one, we take the yarn two times in our hook, and we poke the hook like so, and pull through two, two, and two. And if this is too fast, I'm going to add one video for... Um, front post double crochet for you to see slower but the video that for the front post double crochet that I have extra is for front post double crochet not triple crochet this one the only thing different is that we take the yarn one more time in the hook just like how you would do a triple crochet but you kind of combine with front post so if this is too fast please please stop and go back and see it again we are making front post triple crochet in total of six times so you able to see it again and again it's so hard to explain into word but it's so lucky that you can see the video so if it's too fast stop right now and go back and watch it again this is another tip, after you've got six of front post triple crochet, you should go back and count six stitch at the back and then on the number seven, you add half double crochet, you see? I add four half double crochet in each of half double crochet from previous row. I didn't realize that the video is so fast. <laughs> so now you have time to see again. You take the yarn in your hook two times and now you count from there because we have made four half double crochet. We count four and then in the next one, we again do front post triple crochet. Okay, take the yarn two times in your hook, one, two poke the hook like that that's called front post take the yarn pull through two take the yarn pull through two take the yarn pull through two three times for the triple and you're going to repeat this for six times of front post triple crochet it's so much fun i really 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 love this stitch and it's make it so fast as well because the triple crochet is quite high and i never made this before actually the front post triple crochet and i really really like it so now we already have five we're going to add one more so as you can see after we have six of front post triple crochet i encourage you every time to turn the work and count at the back you see one two three four five six and now in the next one you're going to add half double crochet and at the end we have three half double crochet now you can see it by now that in the beginning we have three half double crochet and then six front post triple crochet and in the middle we have four half double crochet and following up with front post triple crochet and at the end again we have three half double crochet so this is the pattern of the row and now every time after we do uh, all of this front post triple crochet we chain two and then the the way back to the beginning is always the row of half double crochet meaning that we add one half double crochet in each stitch make sure that at the end of the row you have 22 half double crochet because sometimes it happens that you miss some stitch because now it's kind of like the stitch on top of the other layer you, you will see when you make this piece that you need to pay more attention when you do half double crochet row so go ahead make this half double crochet row i meet you at the end of this row make sure you count the row make sure that you count the stitch that you don't miss anything And 
when we finish the half double crochet row chain two and turn our work now we're going to add one half double crochet in each of half double crochet from previous row three times you see three half double crochet and now we're going to do the front post triple crochet in a twist way so what we're going to do is that we take yarn in our hook two times and we count three you see three and then we just skip the first three we go to the fourth one and then we just do front post triple crochet and then we go to the next one and again to the next one the last one And when we got that three already, we're going to come back and do on the first one, a triple crochet, a front post tip, triple crochet into the first one. And then we're going to the second one. And then we're going to do on the third one and this is how this row is twisting like this it's create this movement of the cable stitch and again I encourage you to count six stitch from the back one two three four five six and then the next one you're going to add half double crochet four times four half double crochet in each of half double crochet from previous row and again you're going to do the twisting front post triple crochet I am so sorry I feel that this video is a little bit too fast but I'm going to have a written pattern for you for free on my blog so that you have all the information written for you as well. I will do my best to film the next video more slow and to find a better angle for you. Um, yeah, just if it's too fast, just go back and rewatch this again, please. Now again, we skip the first three um front post triple crochet and now we're going back to start from the first one again but when you see the video like this is make it easier to understand i believe even though the anchor is not that great but you still can see how i did front post triple crochet I never know that I crochet so fast until I see the video. Please let me know in the comment below if you are able to follow this video or if you would like me to make another video much slower for this part to show you how to make a cable stitch. And again, you count six and then the next one you're going to add half double crochet three times at the end. Here is a close up of your work so far. You can see that the twist row um, kind of crisscross from the first front post triple crochet that you made and it's so pretty so the next row is the half double crochet row you just chain two and you're going to turn your work and you're just going to add one half double crochet in each stitch across and again make sure that you count the stitch at the end of the row you should have 22 half double crochet before you can start the next one
now when you're done chain two turn your work and we're going to continue the next row of the cable stitch with this row gonna be just like your third row actually the third row that you're going to make a front pose triple crochet in the straight line it's like your third row so pretty much from now on you're going to repeat um, the third row so after chain two add three half double crochet in each stitch of three half double crochet from previous row and now just make sure that you count you're going to make like that um, you're going to search for the twist one you will see that under of that twist uh, front post triple crochet under that there's a three of that one you're going to search for it and make sure that you have three of them you see one two three you're going to start from the first one now six so you're going to add front post triple crochet into the first one like so now it's getting darker in my room and you can see the quality of the video has changed as well but you still can see now the second one again the third one just make sure you go to yes this is how you do front pose triple crochet all right and then the fourth one just very easy on top of that because it's obviously it's on the top it's you don't have to go look for it <laughs> now it's the fourth one and then the fifth so much fun right comment down below if you really like this as well if you also enjoy the cable stitch so i know that you like this stitch maybe i would design something more of this cable stitch to share with you I would like to know your thought about this. So now is the last one. Six of front post triple crochet. And again, you can see now it's lining up like that. Very pretty. I love it so much. And now I encourage you to also count at the back. Like always, always do that so you don't miss any stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six and then add now it's out of, out of the camera but you know that one is number seven you're going to add half double crochet in each of the next four half double crochet from previous round so now you probably remember by now in the middle you have four half double crochet in the in the beginning you have three and then come front post triple crochet six times and then four and then front post triple crochet six times and then in the end you have another three of half double crochet it's very easy after a few rows you remember everything and now you're just gonna repeat that again make sure you find three hidden front post triple crochet from previous round and that's it you're going to repeat this until the end of the row And here we go you have done this row and again you're going to repeat everything over and over again meaning that the next row is the half double crochet row chain two and you're going to do half double crochet back to the beginning again and then the next row you're going to do the twist of front pose triple crochet so this is what you're going to do half double crochet row twist half double crochet row straight half double crochet row twist you're going to repeat this again and again until you have a total of 
28 rows in the end. You see the first panel I have, I have made a total of 28 rows. You're going to do that and I will explain to you how to connect both panels together. Right. I'm just gonna take this out and show you how I connect them together. So it's very easy to make. So what I did, I crochet this part two times, the front and the back, and then I connect it together from the inside. It's very simple how I connect it. I just slip stitch. Actually, no, not slip stitch. I single crochet. You can see this single crochet stitch. Mm, this I have to saw it in, but because of inside, I didn't see. Yeah, I can do it later. So you can see when you do a single crochet, this is how the single crochet stitch look like at, in the inside. I quite like it. And this, you will find this written pattern also for free on my blog. And if you are a visual learner, you can just follow the video tutorial. And for this part, I wanted to say, because now I don't have, a, I have a tutorial of this cable stitch part for you, of course, but this, I did it last night at night and the light was not that great to film so i will just explain this to you then when you attach the front and the back together either you can use slip stitch single crochet or just use yarn needle and the yarn to connect both part together like i do like this and up here or the other way around however when i come to the top which is this part you can see here I connect this part together and then I chain two and then I add half double crochet in each stitch across. You can see. So the first row of half double crochet that you see here is the last row of the 28 row of front piece and back piece, front panel and back panel. When you connect it together already, the first meaning the next row of half double crochet, you chain two and then you add one half double crochet in each of the next of five half double crochet from previous row you skip one and add one half double crochet in the next five of previous row skip one and that's how you decreasing and then the next row you decreasing by add one half double crochet three times three of half double crochet from previous row skip one one half double crochet three times and then skip one there's just two rows of decreasing and after that you just add one half double crochet in each stitch across. So in total I have eight rows extra from the connecting row. And that's it. I like it to be more open so it's easy to put the bottle, bottle in and easy to take it out. If you have any question and yeah, if you don't understand just Comment down below, I will read all the comments from you and find my way or do my best to answer you. And again, you will get the free written pattern on my website. So make sure that you check it out in the next few days. So here you can see it's very easy to put it in, take it out and you can also wash your cover. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, just hit that like button and subscribe to my channel <laughs> make sure that you click that little bell so that you don't miss any video when i post it here i wish you a beautiful beautiful time enjoy crocheting and come find me on all of social media i see you next time stay warm bye bye